Hello church family and welcome to day nine of the Who's Your One Challenge. Our topic today is tell your story. We're in the book of Matthew still, chapter seven, verses one through 12. So I'll read the verses and we'll get into the Bible study. Do not judge so that you won't be judged for you will be judged by the same standard with which you judge others and you will be measured by the same measure you use. Why do you look at the splinter in your brother's eye but don't notice the beam of wood in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the splinter out of your eye and look, there's a beam of wood in your own eye. Hypocrite, first take the beam of wood out of your eye and then you will see clearly to take the splinter out of your brother's eye. Don't give what is holy to dogs or toss your pearls before pigs or they will trample them under their feet, turn and tear you to pieces. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock on the door and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Who among you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want others to do for you, do also the same for them, for this is the law and the prophets. So I'm going to read directly from the packet, from the uh, download. Shane Pruitt is the author of this Bible study, and um, this is his story. I'm not condoning his actions, but I am grateful for his honesty because it is a lesson for us. Before I was truly saved, I was a very religious person. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Can you be religious and not be born again? Of course you can. I went to church and my Bible and read my Bible every once in a while while I was a leader in my church youth group. I would get drunk with friends on Saturday night and teach Sunday school the next morning with a hangover. There was no way I could have an effect on leading my lost friends to Jesus when I acted no differently than they did. I later found out that I truly didn't know him for myself. So religion and relationship is different. If you have a relationship with Jesus, you are truly saved. You will know him. You will be changed from the inside out. Religious means to do all the right things, to follow, you know, um, steps and guidelines and rules. But that's not what Jesus was about. In fact, in the beginning of Matthew 7, Jesus issues a challenge to those who are trying to lead in spiritual matters. He asks, how are you gonna teach someone in righteousness or lead them to God when you're just as lost as they are. He then teaches us that we must have a right relationship with him and we are to lead others by example. Shane writes, I am now saved and serve with the North American Mission Board. That's quite a responsibility, an awesome responsibility and have opportunities to preach and share the gospel all over the nation. One thing I have learned is that I cannot expect anything from others if my own relationship with Christ is not in order. I also won't have an effect on the spiritually lost if my life is not distinctly different from their lives. Basically, you can't give away something that you don't have yourself. 
Do you personally know Jesus? I'm going to go ahead and pray, but I'm going to ask you to search your heart. And if you are not a follower of Jesus, that you will accept him as your Savior and Lord and give your life to him. So will you pray with me? Dear God, I pray that for those who are watching, that you will truly help them to understand if they are saved by you, if they truly belong to you. If the answer is no, dear Lord, I pray that they will surrender their life to you. Dear Lord, help us to remember the words in Romans 10 verse 9. If, we can, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I pray that everyone watching this will hear that verse and give their lives to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Your action today is hopefully you will surrender to Jesus. And... If you're already belong to Jesus, share your story by re video recording your testimony in 60 seconds or less. Just 60 seconds. Tell who you were before you met Jesus, how you met Jesus, and who you are now because of Jesus. Post that on all your social media platforms and be sure to hashtag who's your one. This challenge is difficult and I will follow up with my testimony so I hope you'll join me for now I'll see you tomorrow take care